Hey everybody, welcome to Some Things Fishy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We got lots of great videos coming out shortly and we've got lots of great content, especially on clownfish. So if you love clownfish, you have come to the right place. Subscribe, like, and comment below what you think of the video. We'd love to talk with you and, uh, and see what you think and see how we can get better and also see what kinds of videos we should make uh, on the horizon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Today might be one of my favorite videos of all time we are talking about designer clownfish. I, even a couple of years ago, I grew up with, with saltwater fish tanks in my life. My dad always had saltwater fish tanks throughout growing up and he especially got into it when I was in middle and high school. And we always, always had clownfish. He always had a saltwater fish tank and he always had clownfish in there. But it wasn't even until like a couple of years ago that I realized that there are so many different types of clowns. And it blew my mind because in my head, clownfish like Nemo were always just the staple fish in your tank. You know, you want that orange clownfish, but there are so many different types, so many different breeds, so many different colors of clowns that you can get. It is, it is really remarkable. It's really cool. It just makes the saltwater fish tank hobby even more interesting to me and maybe to a lot of other people because you don't just have to get the generic Nemo, the orange Ocellaris in your, in your tank. You can get, you know, a $200 phantom long fin uh, clownfish and it looks freaking awesome. So without further ado, let's kind of get into it. I, I thought about kind of breaking down each one, going through a chart. I have some pictures of a chart, but the charts online aren't very clear. The imaging isn't very great, so you can't really read it. It's hard to tell. So instead of getting into the details of what they're called and and how they've been bred and intermingled to get to that point. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through as an overview, as a general guide, what you need to know in terms of designer clownfish, what routes might be the best for you, and what does compa compatibility look like between different types of designer clowns. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as a big overview, there are a few main types. I'm, I'm only gonna cover a few, I'm not gonna get into like the skunk or the toma tomato clowns or anything like that. Those are a little less common, but there are different types. So that you've got Ocellaris, which is probably the main type of clownfish, the biggest, one of the biggest types that you'll see, especially in the, on the market, in stores, online, are different breeds, colors, and designs of Ocellaris clowns. There's also Percula clowns. Those are also very popular. You'll see those a lot of the time. They're a different breed than o Ocellaris, a little different different body shape and structure and things like that. And there's, again, all sorts of designs and colors and different uh, types that you can get in the Percula, uh, in the Percula strand. Uh, you can also get maroon clowns. There aren't quite as many different types and strands of maroon clowns. And I've got a whole video on maroon clownfish that you can go watch. Uh, my my theory is of as to why there's might not be as many different types and designs and colors is because they are so dang aggressive and so dang hostile and evil towards each other that they just can't interbreed them very well because they just kill each other off. So there's there's less to choose from, but in my opinion, the maroon designer clowns are the coolest of all the, the designer clowns. They are absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Um, and then, like I said, you get into tomato clowns, skunk, there's just different types, but like I said, you, you don't see these quite as much, and I don't think they're quite as popular either, so I'm not going to really cover those in this video. Just know that there are other breeds and strands of clownfish, and there are designer clownfish within those breeds as well. So if you're interested in looking into those, maybe I'll make a video later, but I'd, I'd recommend so there's some great content about them online, so look into those. But let's get into the Ocellaris. Uh, like I said, this is probably the main most common type of clownfish and because of that and because they're really nice good fish very very friendly they've been able to breed them and intermingle them and get it to the point where there are so many different colors so in your mind just picture nemo nemo is just this orange generic clownfish he's the normal guy right and uh, that's at least what you know finding nemo has had us think is that that orange clownfish is the generic type but now imagine that now there's clownfish that are just straight orange they have no stripes on them. Now imagine that there's clownfish that are black and white instead of orange and white. And now there's clownfish that are white, fully white, or white with spots, or white with stripes, uh, or, or black, white with black stripes, or ones that are just straight black. There are so many different types of, 
of Ocelaris clowns to choose from. And the prices, they range like crazy. You can go on, like the local store that we have in Colorado is fantastic because they always have dozens of different types of designer clowns to choose from. So that's where I've learned and, and got very familiar with all the different breeds that there are. There's all sorts of names like Frosted Tip and, and Snowflake and Phantom Longfin and uh, Naked Clowns and things like that. There's all different types, all different names, all different colors, all different strands. You can pretty much find anything that you're looking for. And there's different prices, like I said to them. Some can be anywhere from just 12 to 15 to $30 for one. Some can go all the way up to $200 for a clownfish. Those are the ones that are, again, like very, very like strictly bred to get to a certain design, a certain shape, a certain color. So that's kind of how that goes. Percula clowns, again, that other different type of breed like Ocellaris clowns, Percula clowns are also the same way. There's tons of different colors, tons of different breeds, or sorry, not breeds, tons of different colors, tons of different, uh, you know, like fully orange or fully white or different stripes or different colors, different spots and different names. And like I said, different price tags to match them all. So really what it comes down to is your personal preference. What kind of clown, what color of clown do you want in your tank? Because there is likely going to be a designer clown that fits your preference and your liking. And I've got, like you're seeing, like you have been seeing, I've got tons of different video clips of tons of different types and breeds and colors that you can choose from. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is compatibility. I'm not gonna get into a ton of compatibility compatibility here in this video because we have a whole other video that talks about clownfish compatibility because there are so many to choose from. But one thing to keep in mind is Ocellaris clowns and different types, colors, and uh, uh, designer Ocellaris clowns are likely going to be very compatible with each other because they come from the same root. They come from the same breed of clownfish. So if you wanted to get a, like a just 100% orange naked clownfish and you want to mix it with a snowflake clown, it is likely going to be okay. The store owner might tell you that there might be some risk, there might be some aggression there, but if you get them while they're young and you get one that's a little bit bigger and you can go into our clownfish pairing video to learn more about how you can pair clownfish better, but if you get one that's a little bit bigger and one that's a little bit smaller, even if they are different colors, you are likely going to be okay. They're likely, especially if they are both from the Ocellaris strand, Ocellaris breed. You should be able to ask the store owner or research online to be able to tell if it is, and they should be able to tell you just fine and you shouldn't, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, again, Percula should be fine with different Percula designer clowns because again, they come from the same root. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. And one thing that I, I, would, also rec I would also say is Ocellaris and Percula brands are breeds should be able to mix okay together just as a general rule of compatibility with these designer clowns they should be okay there's always a risk in mixing uh, and trying to pair clowns that aren't of the exact same breed and the exact same designer type but uh, it should be okay if they're percula with percula ocellaris with ocellaris or ocellaris with percula you should be okay they should pair and there likely won't be a ton of aggression between them the Scary thing is when you try and combine a maroon clownfish with anything else, even with a maroon clownfish of it of its own. Maroon clowns are very aggressive. They're hyper aggressive. They're very hostile. We have a whole video about this as well that you can check out. But I wouldn't want to spend two hundred dollars on a phantom longfin clown and mix it with a maroon clown because there's there's likely going to be aggression and it's highly likely that one of them dies. As you'll see in some of these videos that I'm having here. Uh, showing for you there <laughs> there's a lot of aggression between maroon clowns and other clowns so keep that in mind in terms of compatibility uh, maroon clowns are gorgeous they're in my opinion the most beautiful type of clownfish there are but they do not pair very well with themselves their own breed or other breeds so I wouldn't try and mix those designer clowns with other ones but like I said there are so many different types of designer clownfish to choose from and mostly what it comes down to is your preference and your price, your budget. If you have a lot of money to spend, you have a high budget for your fish tank, I would honestly highly encourage you to go for one of these beautiful clowns that are, that are being shown here. Um, they are just so gorgeous if you have the money for them. If you don't, 
no problem. There's a lot of clowns that are beautiful and gorgeous, like the Snowflake and other ones that are only like 30 bucks that, that really don't hurt that much to get, and you can get a pair for maybe 50. So that's really cool. I think designer clownfish are gorgeous. It's some people might disagree. They might say that captive breeding is is unethical and things like that. I, I think it's cool. I love it. I think it's creating something that's going to be cool for our kids to see. Amazing breeds, amazing clowns, amazing fish that create amazing tanks. So if you have any questions or comments below, let me know in the comments section. And I would love to chat with you about more about designer clowns and maybe point you in the right direction to some that I think are really cool. Like this video, subscribe, and we got more content coming your way. So we'll see you next time.